we need to set up a level. This is going to be our base map in which we work in. This will include basic lighting setup, it will have a sky sphere, we'll insert post process volume and disable auto exposure or eye adaptation. We'll establish our ground plane, insert light mass importance volume and insert a mannequin for human reference scale. We need to do this before we begin our work so we don't pause along the way and include all these elements later. Here we have our project open and the editor defaults to open in third person example map because we included the third person game template. We want to go ahead and start a new default map. We're going to go to file, new level and choose default. We want to choose default instead of the empty level because it gives us a few properties and a few actors to work with. We have a skybox or a sky sphere and we have a basic lighting setup. So we don't have to set this up ourselves. Once we get done with the entire project and we have our final asset, then we will light it to showcase it better. But right now, as we block this in and as we work on our project, we're going to work with the default level and the default settings for lighting. There are a few things that I want to change. I want to select the skylight and change its mobility to stationary. Then we want to select our directional light and check that intensity is set to 3.14 and it is. This is a good base lighting intensity value for your directional light. Then we want to save our map. But before we do that, we want to create our folder directory structure to keep all of our assets in. We're going to create a new folder inside content folder. And I'm going to name this WOLD Corner Store. And inside this folder, we're going to create additional directories, additional folders as we go along with this project. This will include textures, materials, static meshes, and the one folder we're going to create right now is maps. So create a new folder inside the WOLD corner store and name this maps. This is where we're going to save all of our maps, these levels that we're working on. So with the maps folder selected, let's go to file, save current as, and again, we need to navigate into our folder maps. And I'm going to name this Miami corner store 01 dash BSP and click save. First, let's go ahead and establish our ground plane. We already have a ground plane and the scene included. So I'm just going to use that. Select it and let's duplicate it. If you hold down Alt, left click and drag, this will duplicate the static mesh. I'm going to duplicate this three times and then I'm going to select them all by holding down Control to add to a selection and duplicate it further up so we have a bigger ground plane. I have my grid set to 50 so all of these static meshes snap to each other. Next, let's insert a mannequin for our scale reference. We're going to use the mannequin mobile we downloaded. So let's go to mannequin folder inside mesh folder and left click and drag the SK mannequin mobile into your scene. Let's make sure that the mannequin is right on the ground plane. So we need to lower the grid size back to 10 using the bracket keys, the left and the right bracket key, increase or decrease the grid and just position the mannequin scale reference to align on the ground plane. This mannequin is going to be very important to us to maintain and check correct proportion and correct scale of our environment. So hammer this inside your scene in addition to jumping into the map and playtesting from the player's point of view is going to be very important so you maintain and keep everything to correct human proportion and player scale. Let's also quickly move the sphere reflection capture so it's more in the middle of our scene, in the middle of the ground plane. Now we want to go to volumes and insert post process volume. In the modes panel, click on volumes, scroll down and left click and drag post process volume. We're not going to change a lot of settings here at this point, but there are two properties we need to address. And this has to do with exposure or eye adaptation. This is where your eyes adapt as you walk from dark to light or from light into dark. 
and Unreal Engine simulates the effect as your eyes adapt to light and dark environments. So I'm going to open up a new details panel so we can see better. Under Windows, Detail, Details 2, and scroll down. Under Lens, Exposure, enable Minimum and Maximum Brightness, and set both to 1. And we want to make this post-process volume universal. So we don't have to be inside this volume for the changes to take effect. We want this to apply to the entire scene. So search for Unbound and enable Infinite Extent Unbound. Last, we want to insert Light Mass Importance Volume. This tells the game engine the areas where to concentrate and focus your lighting calculations in. So let's go back to Modes panel under Volumes and left click and drag Light Mass Importance Volume right inside your scene. We need to resize this volume and to do that press Shift 5 to go to Geometry Editing Mode or go back to Modes and click on the Geometry Editing tab. I'm going to select the faces and just move them out so the Light Mass Importance Volume is scaled and surrounds the main area of our scene where we're going to build. So I'm just going to scale every face moving the face to the left, to the right, as well as up and down, so it covers majority of our environment. We won't be working with lighting or building lights for a while, but you still want to include this in the beginning so you don't have to do it later. Let's save our map, go to File, Save All Levels, and now we are ready to begin working on our environment. We're going to begin by blocking in our main building, establishing our scale, our size, right inside Unreal Engine 4 using BSP brushes. 